A local baker is here this morning, and he's going to show us the latest in cake trends. And what a perfect day to do it, because it's Friday, right? He's going to show us some of the tips on decorating a cake. Claire Anderson is joining him right now. Good morning, guys. Good morning, Sharan. I'm here with Wayne Kerr, and he is from Your Cake Baker in Santa Barbara, down on the Mesa. Thanks right. for being here. Thank you. Thanks pleasure. for bringing us some sweet treats. It smells really good. Um, and he, you're going to talk about some of the latest trends with cakes for weddings, birthdays, graduations. Certainly. First, let's talk about weddings. What are you doing right now? What's popular? Well, this year it seems like uh, the smaller wedding cakes, such mm -hmm. as this one here, is very popular. And then people will be augmenting it with some desserts, cupcakes, mm -hmm. sheet cakes, budgetary reasons primarily. And you told me earlier that there were some really interesting flavors you guys have been using. Yeah. Tell me some of your cool flavors. Yeah, uh, chai, mango, passion fruit, green tea. Oh. Just tons of great things. We did a wedding cake last week that was a uh, mango flavored, no, excuse me, green tea flavored cake with the uh, mango mousse uh -huh. filling, and that was really pretty that's, good. That's definitely different. And yep. you were decorating here. Can you show us kind of some of the um, stuff you do? And first, people are doing fondant, which is the smooth over, but now right. it's also kind of this icing. What are these yeah, different kinds? Yeah, like this here is what we call our textured look. It's very popular. It's really nice when you add some fresh flowers mm -hmm. to it. Oh, you know? yeah. And then the top tier has a little bit of a ribbon look. And in the middle tier, we're just putting a little black lace on it to kind of give it a little contrast. And yeah, and what are some things. tips you would give people who maybe uh, decorate cakes at home? Well, when you're at home doing this, make sure you're really prepared. Have everything you need out in front of you and ready to go. And work in stages, you know, cool it off in between, Good you tip. know, and come yeah. back out and work on a little bit and then cool it off again. It makes it a lot easier. That's right. what we're doing all day long. And you also do graduation cakes, Father's Day cakes, and oh, yeah. you do stuff like this. And we have this really cool cake that has all of our logos on it, but yeah. you can do this with really any picture, anything. You anything. put faces on it, right? Yeah, I've done thousands of cakes like this with images on them. They're so much fun. Maybe they're, put their little kid's face on it. Oh, you said to embarrass really, them yeah, for the graduation. For, absolutely. That's a fun thing to do. That's oh, a fun thing to do. Good. And, so. and we are going to decorate actually some things here on set today. Tell me, what do we have? Well, we've got some white cake, red velvet, chocolate, and lemon cake, and okay. I brought some white buttercream and chocolate buttercream. Okay, so and teach me. I've never done this before. Okay. Let's kind of so teach me how to do it. So you grab one, okay. okay, and we're going to hold it with your right hand up near the top, and you okay. use your thumb and your finger oh. to kind of seal off the back so it doesn't squeeze out through oh, the back. Yeah, that would you're, be bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I usually just squeeze in with my other three fingers okay. and use my left hand to guide, and we're going to go just in a circle, oh, working your way right in. Oh. Oh, See? okay, and then, oh, all the way, yeah. and that's great, and then, but say you don't have one of these things, can you use something else at home? You, yeah, you can get parchment paper. Okay. Yeah, this is just parchment paper, but it's a little higher quality, so it doesn't break okay, so easy. Okay, let's do but, another one. Okay, start all the way around, and then work your way right into the center. Oh, okay. um, so I could maybe decorate. So if this TV thing doesn't work cookies. out, you know where to I go. I could decorate, yeah. And some <laughs> of the, what are some of the um, popular? You said that people are using cupcakes for their wedding as oh, well, right? Absolutely. Tell me, you're yeah. doing a really cool thing there. We're doing a really cool one this weekend where it's going to be each tier of the cupcake stand is going to be ombre, so it's going to be a different color of cupcakes, oh. and and each little base of the cupcake stand is we painted it a different color, so it's going to start at yellow uh -huh. to orange to red to purple to blue. This is going to be oh. very very cool. Nice. And you also, okay, so we're going to put these on. Tony and Sharon, if you guys, and Mabrice, I don't know if you guys want to decorate cupcakes, but this is, it's actually kind of fun. Okay, perfect. Yep. And then yep. you put sprinkles on it too, right? right? Yeah, okay. we've got. Oh, can I try the other flavor? What yep. kind is? Oh, this, this is, is chocolate. chocolate. This is good oh, old no, chocolate. Oh, no, we'll do vanilla yeah. on this one. Yeah, and then, and then you also, cake. tell me, you carve cakes as well, right? Oh, we've done so many sculpted cakes, uh -huh. you know, where you just do anything under the under the sun, you know. Like I was telling you earlier, my favorite was the uh, horse's head from the Godfather scene. Oh, it. gosh. And what? that, was, that wow. was really cool. Okay. And that was sculpted out of chocolate, no, out of red velvet, oh. and then covered with dark chocolate fondant to, to get the, the oh, nice. appearance of it. And, and you also do birthday cakes. I saw there was an iguana and all sorts of stuff. What yeah. um, <laughs> What is the hardest part about doing those kind of cakes? They're time consuming. They're, mm -hmm. you know, it's just, you, if you make a mistake, it's hard to back up, <laughs> but you can. It just takes time and, and things. So you have to really think about your steps as you're going through it. Yeah. Okay, so we put on all the icing, and now tell me about some of the... Uh, yeah, and Sharin, if you want to come in and do it a few right here, um, we can scoot over and Sharin... Okay. Whew, it's Maybe pretty we'll good. This is the lemon kind, right? This I'm looks not sure so if they got mixed up. That looks like a white you. cake. A white oh, cake white with a little cake? chocolate frosting. Okay. And then we're going to so, top all these off with some stuff as well, yeah, right? I we wasn't really looking at the technique. Okay, okay so, yeah, explain. See, okay, Sharon, what you do is you, okay. you hold it at the top. All right. 
kind of lock it off so it doesn't squirt out the back as you as you're squeezing. Okay. And then you guide <laughs> it. You guide it with one hand and just kind of go in a circle right into okay. them. Okay. Okay. I will do my best. Okay. Yeah. And we're going to add sprinkles to it, right? Yeah. I brought some some good old fashioned nonpareil. Is there any technique to sprinkles, or you just kind of just kind of go for it? Oh, I really like that. And then yeah. also, you, how did you get into baking? And what was the reason you started it? And how did you well, really get good at it? My father was a baker. My grandfather and my great grandfather were all bakers. And my father came to Santa Barbara in 1947 after World War II from uh -huh. Denmark. And he's been in Santa Barbara. He was in Santa Barbara his whole life. And um, Mabris is here. She's going to decorate oh cupcakes. Oh boy! Yeah. <laughs> so I started with my father. Us, yes. We, that's we what did I was telling TV Claire. and the side job. We can decorate cupcakes. <laughs> Absolutely. You guys look like you're all having a good time there, too. Yeah, and tell me, <laughs> what do you think has changed in the cake industry within maybe the last year or so that you really see in your business here in Santa Barbara? Well, Pinterest is a huge, huge thing. Oh, yeah. We get so many people e emailing us pictures of their ideas from Pinterest. Yeah. So the Internet, mm -hmm. that, is the yeah. that is the absolute biggest thing, is the ability to share pictures and things, to get ideas that way. Yeah. So. That's Always something as compared to like five years ago, even or ten years ago, yeah. where it was nobody did anything on the internet. Nobody now did anything. Now people come email. in with these grand gestures yeah. of cakes. I'm sure. Yeah, uh, and then they go, "Oh my gosh, what do you mean it's going to be three thousand right. <laughs> dollars?" Well, yeah. you know, you got to spend a week preparing for it. Or you're working on it. It's not something that just appears out of nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> so. I love the idea that you were mentioning though that some of the wedding cakes are mm -hmm. not as big, but they yeah. complement mm -hmm. them with cupcakes or yeah, something. Yeah, you know, else. or like mini eclairs yeah. and mini cream puffs or brownies right. or. Great. Well, fun little things. Well, thank you so much for having us here. Oh this gosh, has been really fun, right. and we can't wait to eat it all, so yeah, we'll have it back to you. Yeah, you guys get to enjoy it all. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Thanks My pleasure. Here. Yeah, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Skol. Thanks so much for watching, everybody.